as they move through the catalog of PS Plus games, it was only a matter of time before we landed on some of our beloved PlayStation mascots. Jack being one of them. We have Jack and Daxter, The Lost Frontier, out on PS Plus Premium, and to buy a la carte, of course, but it has trophies. Oh. For those of the people that don't know, PSP games were going to get trophies. So, retroactively, maybe the games would have gotten, but I guess they decided at that point when they were releasing the trophies, we got a new handheld coming, we might as well just focus on the Vita instead. But now, some odd years later, a bunch of years later, Jack and Daxter The Lost Frontier has trophies. So that makes five Jack games that you can get trophies for right now, and there's one inconspicuous one still missing, Daxter. I imagine that's coming at some point. But now you can get a Platinum for this. If you don't know anything about this game, this game was started by Naughty Dog. It was being developed by them, but I guess in the interest of working on their other projects, especially Uncharted, which was coming out for the PlayStation 3, they decided to give this to a studio called High Impact Games, which had ex-Insomniac devs who worked on the Ratchet & Clank Size Matters and Secret Agent Clank games. Those games still need to come to PS Plus, and I imagine they'll get to them. But they worked on the rest of this game to make it. It is a sequel to the four games that came out on the PS2. A lot of mixed reactions to it. Some people like it. Some people hate its guts. And there's not a lot of people that can say they actually love the game. I've only played the demo, so when this got dropped I was very excited and it looks like the trophy guide is pretty pretty extensive pretty great and the thing with these PS1 uh, and PSP classic games is that their trophy runs are all over the place it's the wild wild west when it comes to this stuff sometimes you get ones like um, let's say um, Siphon Filter 2 and 3, where it's all story related. Few trophies here and there that might as well be unmissable trophies. Like Resistance Retribution is certainly like that. I just completed that not too long ago. And then you get stuff like um, Jet Moto, Twisted Metal, where it has a good trophy list, but you can completely um, bork the game kind of in, in ways that it's not supposed to with cheats. Now you have one where you have to actually go through the game, complete it, and it's more than surface level where it's not just the story stuff. You actually have to collect certain things, find certain things in the games, and this looks to be excellent, excellent, excellent. Now before we go into the trophies, I must warn you, if you want to start this game, there is a issue going around right now. It involves going to a place in the game called Far Drop. And unfortunately, with Far Drop, there is a soft lock issue. Now, I've had this confirmed by a viewer of mine who started the game, got to that point, has to put the game down until there's a patch because every time he goes into this certain part of the, the game, the game chugs and then crashes. It's not the first PS Classic to have uh, a rough launch. I know Legend of Dragoon had to have a couple patches to fix some stuff. They'll get to it pretty quickly. On PSN profiles, there is a dev who asks people um, issues about the uh, PS Plus games and then he uh, passes along that information. It's Jeff X Free. He passes that information along to the company that does these uh, to fix them. And it looks like the same is happening here. Jack and Daxter Lost Frontier. I was enjoying this surprisingly until we got to the far dropper area. The game crashes basically every 30 seconds to two minutes in this area, which renders it virtually unplayable. Anybody else experienced this? And then he took that information and passed all of the above along. So they're actively working 
to get these fixed when issues come around. These are old games that they're emulating. In particular, the company that's doing it for Sony is called Implicit Conversions, and they're working off of a emulator that they call Syrup. So these games are playing on this Syrup engine, um, and they are doing the work for Sony for these games. Obviously, when you are not working on original hardware, things are gonna go wrong. It happened with Legend of Dragoon, it happened with this game, it's, it's gonna continue to happen with some games. But these guys are probably a small team just kind of working on these things that they have, the games have to come out slowly. Certain games, when something comes up, like a, a bug that's not working, they have to delay the game and put something else in the monthly update. Um, they're doing their best, is what I'm saying. So, be patient when it comes to that stuff. But now, let's get into the trophies themselves. And you have a, an actual decent list here with collectibles. It's not just unmissable stuff. Um, it's you, you don't get a free ride. And I think that this one is rewarding to do. You have the, the trophy frontier found for the platinum currently at a 0.6% and I can see why considering that you do have to go out and find a quite a bit of stuff. Uh, obtain 100 precursor orbs uh, for the king orb of the lost frontier trophy. So you have to be collecting these. I think these precursor orbs work like the kind of like the Jack 2 kind of uh, maybe it's like a mix of Jack and Daxter 1 and Jack 2 when it comes to getting these precursor orbs. You have uh, a trophy here, Jack Dangerous. Finish any segment of the Danger Course minigame with a score of 10,000 or more. You have here, purchase any 10 plane weapons or plane mods. Uh, so you do have ship combat, which was interesting. Uh, it, it actually worked pretty decently. Uh, it, it was kind of cool. And then you also have here, Ship Scrapper, upgrade any plane weapon or plane mod to level five. So not only can you purchase these mods, but you can level them up as well. Then you got races here, um, Dirk Hardpecks, <laughs> Hardpeck, <laughs> he said Hardpeck. <laughs> then you got Hard to Beat, win first place in any of the races, target acquired, score 50 points in uh, the races, score 100 points, score 200 points. So you got the races, that's cool. The races in the, um, the Jack games have been quite fun. I always enjoy them. Even the ones in two where you have the, the, the speeder things that's a little bit like hard to navigate through the city streets. But it, they were still very cool. Always uh, good to have them. You have uh, pirate radio tower missions uh, at any location. Complete them all for the radio to defeat trophy. Then you got uh, return all eco energy to the idol at Brink Island. And you have more uh, stuff like that where you have to return the en uh, eco energy to different places. You got uh, barter's challenges. Uh, complete any four of them for the uh, Rough and Tough and Jack trophy. I like that name. You, you got a, a list you would develop if it were a modern game. That's all I want. When it comes to some of these PlayStation classics, the lists kind of blow. Now, there are a bunch of good ones, like Jumping Flash has a great list, uh, and that was actually uh, retroactively put in, so maybe uh, it took some uh, some time for them to kind of figure it out uh, and, um, and develop a good list around the game, but then you get like stuff like Siphon Filter 2 where you just, uh, you have to beat the game and that's it. There's no extra trophies for doing certain things in the levels. Like the first one, the first one had that, and then they decided for two and three, nah, just unmissable, get it done. And, and then there's there's cases where it's kind of like in the middle, like Ape Escape, collect 100 monkeys, that's it. There are 200 something in the game and 100 monkeys is actually under the amount of monkeys you're going to collect anyways to complete the game. Why not make us go and catch them all? What's the big deal? You want the platinum, you have to work for it. And it's just the Wild West sometimes when it comes to these um, these trophies, these platinum trophies for PS games. Uh, some of them are really good. 
Some of them are not so good and some of them are somewhere in between. But if you're gonna check out Jack and Daxter, be warned about that problem, that soft lock issue in Far Drop. Uh, just be wary. I don't know if it's been happening to everybody, but it's happening to a bunch of people and they should patch it very soon. Uh, but if you're gonna check it out, let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Uh, I'm waiting for Daxter as well. I'm more familiar with Daxter. I played that. This one, I'm excited to check out when the patch drops. Uh, I'm gonna work on some other PS Classic games in the meantime until they patch it. And then I can fully enjoy it without the worry of glitches or anything like that. Uh, but let me know down in the comment section. I hope all your trophy hunting expeditions looking for precursor orbs and eco go incredibly well and peace out.